there is this popular saying that the teacher should not be able Tell us something about it. You have a great of this book and your assistant to understand. So it's that it looks more like the neutral relationship. So some teachers can just can't afford to say that they will teach. It is a very important question to me. And, uh, I, and then, if you believe me, I would like, I would like to answer this question by saying what I did. Uh, thank God I do not want the picture, so now I can say what I did and like the, the obedient movement we say, uh, go out of the When you be fan, we know teachers will want what is often said to be, but I, I have a different approach to it. Yeah, they want to be like everyone else. I don't know if there's any person who says he wants to go to bed. So everybody wants to go to bed. But I said that I'm saying they must go to live here better before going to bed. So that they, have, they can begin to have a text of what life is. So when they go to bed, they won't be feeling like we are not made to be here. <laughs> so, so the work of teachers is there to be here. The only thing is, it's part of those, what uh, Martin Heidegger would call, or the first of Martin Heidegger would call, There are things that you cannot just change, but you want what you have. You are so limited that you can't change. So you have no other option but to accept the reality. If I had my way, I would be paying teachers higher than any other. If I should be a politician today, no, teachers should earn higher than. Any. And if you even compare those with same countries, teachers earn. I have a friend who worked as a tutor in a school in the United States, and I don't know. What happened and what it is like? And because I can't just pay them, because I can only make use of the school fees. You know, it's two way pay. If you want to pay teachers 100,000 per month, then students should be paying like 250,000 every time. So, uh, but at the same time, so because if you look at the environment, look at it, this is an average student environment, average family environment, and we can't scare people away with fees because we want everybody to have access to education. So, but I, 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 I said to myself there could be ways. That's why, last year, we introduced that every, um, every Wednesday, if you recall, um, teachers are um, opportunity to have breakfast in school. Um, later, we added Friday lunch. These things we are going to encourage this time. If you can give them money, you can as well. Um, you may ask, okay, what how you raise the money for it? I made it clear that second term proceeds of the canteen, if uh, what they call gains from the canteen, second term is spent in this direction. It's because also part of the things we use also for catalogs. So a charitable man and teachers work with this second term. It's because I believe that teachers are part and parcel of this. We remember students, we remember, we always say, when well, is a family of children. And we try to make the school to become a family, but in doing it, you must not exclude the teachers. Because if you want to build a family, you must also build it in them. It will be staff and students. There are other ways we help teachers. If a teacher, for instance, wants to, uh, has held situation, we have never straight from the fact of helping out the people we can. If there is a necessary soft loan that the teacher needed, we do so. We do so. We allow because I believe that, for instance, if we have a teacher who who could not, who, the family had a problem, maybe they couldn't pay their rent, and the teacher is living in our Japanese, and you don't have a traditional business for him or her here, and that's or living in Hong Kong. And they are struggling to pay rent, and you get a win of it. When you support, even if it means the teacher to pay in a year's time, when you give that support, you have to settle the teacher in mind so that she could be more impactful to the students. If you claim you don't concern, the teacher will come to school, but will be thrown at the children. A number of things will be going on in her head that she may not give the time to the students. And before you know it, she will force it. And when she falls in, she stays out of school for two weeks and the students suffer as it. So sometimes when I get a picture of that, I step in to see if there could be a way we can help. So that the same thing happens if the teacher is involved in issues of health or the only thing you don't do is that if it's, let's say uh, you want to throw a party because you're wedding, you're on your own. 
But if it's something of this kind of situation, we try to um, come in and help. And then for the teachers whose children are, they, they, for the teachers uh, whose children are eligible to study at school, at the point we you discover that the police is here, once you're a teacher and you're, you have a poor child who is a training to learn what the tuition fee is already a scholarship. If you go and go, if you ask the teachers, they know. It's good. Students may not know, but the teachers are so that if they bring their, if you're a teacher in Bernard and your boy child is here, we, we automatically plan what we should do this year is the tuition fee. The body fee is from the negotiation of something, but the tuition fee is only a given so that we can help our teacher and the family too. Because I believe that if the teachers have their students, have their children here, the moral body is up there to do well. Because they will be forced to teach. To teach well. So that's how uh, we try to push on the, the economic challenges that teachers face with stay. Uh, I believe the policy is also continue. Uh, uh, for me, I would strongly hope it's a policy that is being developed further because this will keep going. So that is not just a big continue, but let's get the more of such uh, welfare packages for teachers because that's one of the things that can make teachers become better. I was sorry about that question. I was in my arm on Saturday, the day before I came here on Sunday. This is the 17th of June, and my alma mater is a little center is running the two first position in Olympia, Africa, and the So, the management of the United I was there. And the two teachers that prepare the students who are you receive master's students in mathematics who are BTS and the school. They were also prepared, two young ladies. And, and I didn't waste time in appreciating them. Because this is what we must do. We look at this is how the society must encourage teachers to do better. And um, that's essentially what it should be. So I believe every manager should be able to have a way to encourage the staff and improve on their work. And it is so if you are building residential buildings, teachers must be the first to be the first opportunity of instantly that they refuse to have adults. It's not just about it. Any, you must encourage also building residential buildings within the school. And that's what we try to do the most we can. We can now begin to see some teachers living inside the school. Thank you for that explanation because you know, at the beginning, a patient from the state of 2019 at the time, and that's the academic level of the Though the Wednesday and breakfast and we had lunch and come about, but then we gave a little expression on that. That is about remoting and what about how was it sustained? And do you think you achieved the aim? Um of course for me, except maybe the ones I don't know, from my own humble evaluation, I think it was a success because as I say, I didn't just begin it overnight. It wasn't just by coming into administration and announcing the policy, they say to them, blah, 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 and then begin to think about it. No, yeah, I first of all devoted time to think about it. I began first of all to build an internal genetic regulatory mechanism. And when I saw the trajectory of growth, I did the mathematics with the teacher involved. And when I did the mathematics, I am to a me, yes, I can sustain this. Why not? If I decide that uh, canteen proceeds can be used to this, a percentage, not the entire canteen proceeds, this is the entire genetic revenue. Who are not generating these students and teachers? Even if it falls past them to help make the place a better place, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I encourage that? Why wouldn't I continue that? <laughs> For crying out loud, why wouldn't I? It, it, and you observe, I come there and take the same view with them. Why I do that is, um, let me be honest to you, that's what we call teamwork credibility. Teamwork credibility is a, uh, a system whereby the leader of a team has a moral duty to do what he expects others to do. So it's not just about you, it's about you leading by, let me say, a normal conduct by example. So, on Wednesdays, I do tell the group 
No. Uh, forget it, I'm eating with the teachers. You know, so uh, that little bread we take, we take it as a standard. It, it is a way of bonding with the teachers. Uh, for me, I believe that if we want, we can share goals, the visions will be clear to everybody, and then we can achieve our aim together. Because it's not just about me, it's about collective effort. Everybody is involved in this. And so when the glory comes, everybody shares with me. And so, so for me, I, it's one of the things that I think I am so proud of. And uh, if given an opportunity, I will do it again and again. If I had an opportunity to see funding, I will even be making sure that teachers have their lunch every day before they leave. Yeah, because think about it. A teacher has a family. You know, in the you know, schools, when public schools were in, in the 60s and the introduction of the system, 50s and 60s and the 70s, teachers live inside schools. Now, you see the situation right now, after school, 2 thirds, school closes off, like traditionally 2 thirds. Some teachers also have the grace of the dedication that they want to have tutorial with some students, even if it's a local activities like training the debaters and so on. If I some students a little more time, do you ever ask yourself, how do they eat? As a manager living in the school, so after two days, I can just go and I can't lunch. But also, think about the teacher who expects to also have extra lesson for the physics students preparing for this. So you can see, it's not, this is not our age or anything. It's, we must sometimes put the, put the issue on the table and look at it holistically. Because you may think, some of these teachers are paid, even those paid in by government, some of them are paid. Like How much is their take um, um salary? Sometimes for something else. And this person is coming from she's coming from Hong Kong. So sometimes before they get back and they are married, some of them are married, some of them are with kids. They will go back and back to the children. So, when you look at it, so if I have my way, I will even make it that teachers come to school in the morning, believe they are taking their breakfast. But before they leave, they should be able to have something, no matter how much, to quench the hunger as they go back. Because they are not living within the school. Until you begin to have residential buildings for teachers, then such a thing can be can maybe overtaken. But if not, if you have a relation with for teachers, then that's a square person can walk back to his room and eat. But when you expect the teachers to begin to go to one to take a bus to your teacher, imagine traveling under the bad roads and come on, that's why you see many teachers, they only go on bus and to catch up. And these are not the problems helpful to your head. So this is my condition, and I don't have apologies for it. And for me, anyone who can do it. Is let me know. And anybody who uh, has not seen, didn't see reason for it, I don't know, I don't know what to say to you, but for me, I'm convinced it's part of the world, what we can do to improve the relationship and bring the best out of our teachers.